Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I am an IPC Master Instructor. For this video for the month, what we will be doing is prepping through hole components for installation with lead-free solder. What you see in front of you currently is two of the types of components that are used a lot in the industry. One here, the resistor, is an axial leaded component. The reason why they call it axial is because the component body is in the center and you got legs that come out on both sides. The other component which is a capacitor, it has no polarity but it is considered a radial leaded component and it has the body on the top and the legs come out on one Might side. Want to pre tin your parts in lieu of a solderability test. I like to pre tin my parts for the fact is that I can guarantee that they're solderable at the beginning of the soldering process. That is the easiest way to test for them. Okay, and if they're not, what you might want to do is clean up the leads. You might use a non abrasive uh, oil free eraser to clean the legs off with, uh, alcohol or something to clean the legs so they're easy to solder to. Okay, well, the tip that we're going to be using is a large hoof tip. You can also use a solder pot to pre tin them. That's the quick and easiest way. But if you don't have a solder pot, what I use is the one like this. this is called a large hoof tip. If you notice again, it's at a 30 degree angle. What we'll be using is a lead free solder today, which is a sack solder. I grab the part by the component body, just like so. Next thing I'm going to use is a no clean flux, and I want to put it on the lead itself just like so. Next thing I'm going to be doing is grabbing my lead free solder and cleaning it up really nice. And I'm going to create a large ball of solder on the end of my tip where it's almost dripping off. And it's hard to tell in here but there is a ball of solder right there and it's almost ready to drip off. And what you want to do is you come down on the component body, or not component body, but the lead itself, hesitate, and then slowly bring it down. That is how you pre tin your part before soldering. What you want to do, there's two different ways to do this. One is with a pair of pliers. So what I do is I lay my component centered in the silk screen, just like so. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is grab that component leg right in the center of that hole just like so. What I'm doing is cutting with the side of the face not the point. Then I'm going to keep gentle pressure. I'm going to put my component, my finger between the component body and the lead itself right here against the pliers right in that middle area where you see the silver. Okay. Right here where you see the silver is where I'm going to put my finger in between the component body and the pair of pliers itself. And all I'm going to do is, not moving the pliers, bend it 90 degrees upward. Just like so. Pretty simple to do, huh? What I'm doing is keeping me from doing any damage to the seal area on this component body. Taking it off. Now what I'm going to do is drop it in the hole. The one side that I just bent. Just like so. and now I'm going to do this other side. I'm going to really bring it in so you can see what I am doing right there. Okay, now again I'm going to cut that hole in half with the side of my player. See how I cut that hole in half? 50% is only showing. It's like a half moon and I got a hold of it. Now I'm going to slowly ease that component back out so I don't do any bending or damage. Okay, now bend it upward just like so. Boom! 90 degree bend. Okay, look at that. Okay, I'm going to show you why I do one over the other. I like the pliers the best because of my bends. And I'll let you take a look at that for yourself. The bottom one I'm just bringing into the picture is the one I've done with the uh, Christmas tree. And you can definitely see the difference between the two. And I, I am more of a crisper bend look to it. Uh, it helps prevent a little bit of the solder from coming up into the bend area up in here.